Hello, everybody. It's Mike Myers and Richard Chapman for yet another exciting episode of Two Ball Nerds, where nerddom and lack of hair follicles come together in a great pile of knowledge, humor, mirth, and joy. So wow. what are we talking You're about really today, Richard? You're really setting the stage for failure here, Mike. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> what do you mean, failure? <laughs> well, I mean... I, coffee, bud. Helps me. I have tea. Look, it's tea. Oh, look at that in your little Turkish cup, too. It's, it's a cute little cup. Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> That's a San and Omer effect there, man. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with that. I'm a All right. Turkish. Well, listen, man, it is Mother's Day, Richard. So uh, uh, my mom's not with us anymore, but we always had a, a good time. Lots of have happy memories. Uh, my daughter, uh, who has three kids now, I kind of put all my Mother's Day uh, towards her. And... Uh, but it definitely brings up Mother's Day is interestingly, in my opinion, one of those holidays that really does bring up IT security more than a lot of other holidays. Okay. Uh, were you around, was it two years ago when they had that, uh, it was that dark side ransomware? Do you remember? That hit on Mother's Day. Yeah. That was either in 2020 or, I can't even remember anymore. And uh, I, I'm not saying there's something specific about Mother's or Mother's Day, but it does seem that a lot of stuff happens on Mother's Day. So weekends too. Weekend, weekends are a big part of it. That's that was probably a, I think a contributing factor as well too. Yeah, no, I would definitely agree on that. And uh, so uh, the the other here's the most important Mother's Day rule there is. You ready, Richard? Yeah, go for it. Never try to go to brunch on Mother's Day. Yeah, no joke. Yeah, well, because well, just... you know I lost my mom a few years ago, and uh, so I, I don't really have Mother's Day programmed in the head. Uh, but I do enjoy brunch. Oh, is that pesto? You know, but uh, I, I, uh, I, like, uh, I like going out to brunch. And I'll tell you, more than once, dude, I have gone out and uh, tried. It's like, hey, I just walk it in. They're like, are you nuts? Yeah, no joke. I mean, especially yeah. walking in without a mom, you know, I mean, it's just like that's that's social suicide. Oh, it's the one it's time a, a year I could sit there and go, I lost my mom. And like every lady in the house oh. would let me sit with them. All right. So anyway, uh, I want to talk a little bit. Uh, there are some Mother's Day specific scams out there. The ones that uh, worry me, and uh, I'm not saying this only happens on Mother's Day, but uh, it's the one time year when uh, it goes outside of just like phishing type things. Like for example, uh, one of the ones that's always bothered me is that people will call people up on the phone and go, oh, we have flowers to deliver to you for yeah, Mother's right? Day. And we yep. just need you to, your credit card to cover the delivery cost. Uh, those have been around for a while. And those can often show up as texts too. Have you run into those? Yeah, absolutely. Lure, lure task uh, type activities like that are absolutely uh, prevalent. They, they happen all the time. And there's even crazier stuff being done now too with the phone calls where they're recording voices and they're, they're doing all kinds of crazy stuff with that too. And it, I mean, we can talk about it at length, but it's, it's pretty interesting. You got to be careful. And our moms have to be careful too. Cause I don't know, I don't know about you, but I don't know if you dealt with this at all, but you know, my mom's got a phone that's basically a powerful computer and she has email, she can shop, she can watch videos, she can click on everything that pops up on her phone. It's a, uh, it can be, can be interesting. That's for sure. <laughs> well, I would always look at mother's day as an opportunity to uh, do a little bit more it training in a specific area that we tend to ignore, you know, yeah. and obviously I'm not going to leave that just to moms, but a lot of times this is the, uh, the family training reminder. You know what I mean? All right, yeah. folks, you know, especially, I know, I know, I know you are, uh, but in my family, I'm the IT specialist. So I tend to get those kind of phone calls. So for yeah. me, this is always an opportunity. It's usually around this type of year, or sometimes I'll even call it spring cleaning, where I'll just go around everybody and go, let's talk about a few things that are happening. Uh, in particular, now it's interesting you bring up that voice stuff because I, I don't I don't have any facts on it and I haven't seen anything on the vulnerability databases. But uh, in particular, I, I find it terrifying what seems to me to be combinations of Google Talk that's super realistic human voice stuff combined mm -hmm. with what seems to be AI, as far yeah. as I can tell, and. Uh, hyper specific spear phishing uh type things that are happening have you stumbled into any of this at all or is this just me this is pretty new 
No, no, I, I've actually stumbled into that. Uh, actually, it's funny enough, I was watching a news uh, report literally just the day before yesterday with my mom, actually, and it was talking about how attackers are actually taking compromised social media accounts that have videos or even just even just recording audio from from these video posts and they're taking the audio and they're they get in, they get enough audio from it to be able to put it into one of these tools like you were mentioning where they can actually then create a distressed audio message like they've got me you need to send money or something stupid like that which is crazy to me that they would even go to those links because it really does push the boundaries of getting police involved right but a lot of people will fall for this kind of crazy stuff and they'll start paying money to people that you know obviously don't have their their loved ones or their family members it's it's pretty intense yeah i i, I have not heard about that specific one but now you've just scared the bejesus out of me you know <laughs> <laughs> well, so, sometimes that's, that's being terrifying. scared is, 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 you know, what drives you to make good changes and, you know, think about things and not do certain things. I'll be honest, if somebody calls me that I don't know, if I don't know the, the, the phone number, I don't answer it because I don't even want them to hear my voice. And yeah, I'm afraid I've stupid. reduced myself to that point. I don't even answer the door anymore. It's, it's, it's disappointing, but we have reached that point. Speaking well, of I, answering the door, the other thing that I think is a good idea this time of year uh, if this is an opportunity to do a physical security audit. Um, yeah. I, I think it, it camera systems are way too cheap, way too sophisticated now to not take advantage of them. I, I'm not yeah. a big fan of Ring because I don't want, you know, other people to have access to my video and audio. I was going to say, but, you're saying that just because they got compromised. I get it. <laughs> no, I did. I Heck no. Dude, my camera systems are like from 2002, but they work great. And uh, I, I and my cloud is, you know, my own little personal cloud that I set up and doing a little port 40. But it is a good time is all I'm trying to say, Richard, too. Yeah. You might want to consider this is an opportunity, especially for, you know, gals who are living on their own and that type of thing, getting some good camera systems in, getting some good uh, lighting systems in, reinforcing locks. Uh, you know, all those types of things, it's just a good opportunity, you know, and I, and I think that's one of the benefits of having a Mother's Day is that it's like, okay, what can I be doing for mom? It's not that it has to be done at Mother's Day, obviously, but it, it's just a good annual thing to consider. So, yeah, of course. Well, and it's, it's part of the, it's part of the natural order of things as well, too. They took care of us for so long. We're in a different world now than when, when they brought us up. And, you know, we know things and experience things and, and work in a field where they don't necessarily have uh, as much experience as we do. So we've got to take that knowledge and help protect them now. It's, it's, it's mom. We got we to gotta, we gotta protect mom. I agree. So folks, like we talk about here at Two Bald Nerds, Mother's Day comes around. This is an opportunity to basically security audit and to provide a little training and to provide a little uh, awareness uh, not only to your mom, but those other folks who are near and dear to you. So take advantage of it. I'm Mike Myers, and this is Richard Chapman, and this is Two Bald Nerds. We'll catch you on the next episode. If you like Two Bald Nerds, check out our entire playlist right here. It's a lot of fun. We'll see you there.